Hello, Minehead is on the northern coast of Somerset and at the start of this short video we're pointing towards the northwest and it is from here that the prevailing winds will arrive and where the biggest waves therefore will come from. It means that the theory is that longshore drift will be travelling towards the east. As the camera starts to spin we begin to face west and then south and we'll start to travel east along the coastline. We move past the small harbour and then we see the town of Minehead which is defended in various ways. Most obviously you may be able to make out the sea wall with rock armour in front of it. The effectiveness of this rock armour might be investigated using Hudson's equation. This section of the beach is less well used by tourists than the area further along to the east so this restrictive access that the rock armour causes is acceptable. Questions can then be asked about why these de defences are even necessary. After the 1996 storm events, notably Storm Lily, which caused havoc on this coast, this new defence scheme was designed. The defences are now therefore 20 or 25 years old, and so they're showing their age, especially with the bigger waves and the higher sea levels due to climate change. Most of the defences we see here are hard engineering, and the vast cost of these defences needs to be worth it. Arguably, economic value dominates this decision making. The idea in theory, though, is that the shoreline management plan, indeed all UK shoreline management plans, are sustainable in terms of the economy, but also socially, environmentally and politically. Other strategies along this coastline protecting Minehead are rock groins, revetments, which are at the base of the seawall, covered in sand to some extent, and beach nourishment, where sand is dredged in from offshore in the Bristol Channel. The council then spend about £20,000 a year reprofiling and reshaping this beach. These defences also protect butlins, which is where the big white tent is. This land used to be salt marsh, so it might easily flood were it not for the seawall and extensive beach. The £60 million it brings into the UK economy, the local economy indeed, uh, helps justify these defences. In the distance, off into the far east, we see the last groin, sometimes called the terminal groin. The coast beyond is starved of sediment, meaning that the flood risk is raised and terminal groin syndrome will occur. To mitigate this, new rock armour was installed in 2012.